So you're going to an ADR session yeah. after this? Is mm -hmm. that for the show? Yeah. What does ADR entail for uh, this? Looping. It's just looping. Like if I had said a word that they couldn't understand, I would need to repeat it and they would record it and they would match what I recorded to my lips. So no like yelling outside in the field type Pop things? Possibly. <laughs> anything. Anything that they didn't get sonically. So how are you with all the medical jargon this time? Because Ragosa did a little of yeah. that in season one, but because of the new job, I imagine you've got to learn much more complicated um, dialogue this time. Yeah, the medical jargon, it's all learned phonetically. It doesn't, um, there are people like, I think Jill Flint learns it incredibly well and easy, and uh, for me it's not, I, I gotta learn it all phonetically. Yeah, but the last time I was here, she was able to say all the terms, but then I pointed at like a surgical table, and I'm like, yeah. what are these tools? She's like, I don't she, know. She, <laughs> she didn't know. Huh? How do you like being on the other side of it this time? It's been an interesting journey being on the other side uh, and not being the boss. And um, you know, when they, when the creators of the show, Jeff and Gabe, first pitched it to me, they said, uh, they said we want to explore what it's like for someone at Bragosa's age to start from scratch. You know, to have a new beginning. Uh, and that to me was interesting. It's like what happens to a human being when they got to start from that, you know, when they feel like, when they feel like they are not doing what they're meant to do in real life and are willing to give up all the security of a good job and everything that comes with that in order to, in order to follow what they really want to do. Can you connect to that personally at all? Because I feel like regardless of age, yeah. everybody's been there at some point where something they're doing doesn't feel right, but it's a total risk to switch it up. Yeah, I've, you know, I've, I've been acting since I was 13, you know, so it's always what I wanted to do and I've been blessed that I got to do what I wanted to do. So, uh, no, I can't. I've always done what I wanted to do. So how does all of this affect how Ragosa feels about following hospital policy versus doing what you need to do to save a patient? Is he going to kind of go to the dark side, I guess, in a sense? <laughs> is he going to go to the dark side? Uh, no, I think this season is just him trying to keep up, you know? He's just trying to keep up. He's just trying to uh, uh, manage his way through... Uh, people who used to be his subordinates, you know, and who he used to be their boss and how that dynamic has shifted and how he deals with that and how he deals with uh, not making money anymore and how that affects his personal life and his wife and his kid and all of that. So I think it's more about that this season as opposed to him uh, rebelling against um, hospital policy. Is that more fun for you? Because even just based on the two episodes we got to see, it looks like your character is having a blast. Oh, well, thank you. I haven't seen any of it. Uh, so I'm glad you, you think that. It has been, it's just been different, you know? It's been different for me. It's been fun. It's been different. And, uh, you know, I'm always worried that, you know, the audience is going to be so used to seeing them a certain way and, and if they're going to react negatively t towards it. But uh, everyone seems to have reacted positively so far, so I hope that everyone feels the same way. Did you figure out much of the details of what happened between the two seasons? Like how he approached the surgery, what he felt like going into it, and things like that? Kind of what makes him turn into the character we see at the beginning of season yeah. two? Well, he, you know, Ragosa in, in season one, you know, uh, he discovers that he has a tumor behind his eye, right? And he decides that he's going to go in and have the surgery and have it taken out. But when that happens, or when the surgery happened, uh, he almost died. And they took out a piece of his brain uh, in the process. And I think that whenever a human being goes through a situation like that, they, they have an epiphany of some sort, right? And they analyze life and analyze whether they're happy or not and and he decided that he wasn't and he was going to make a drastic change and um and that was really interesting to me uh just sort of exploring that and how a human being would react to something like that so new job new outlook on life and a new hairdo which i'm really feeling i like the messier look <laughs> okay new hairdo all right all right and new wardrobe also. I imagine right. the scrubs are much more comfortable than what he was wearing last time around. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I, I've, I've, uh, 
wore suits in the past, and so um, it's kind of nice to get to wear something different this time around. Does he have anything with his uh, new scrub outfit to kind of make it stand out? Because, you know, a doctor show, everybody wears scrubs. So what is right. his little piece of flair? Uh, uh, Ragosa wears purple scrubs, and no one else has purple scrubs. So he's the only one that wears purple. Although Eric LaSalle, who is one of our directors, uh, said to me the other day that I look like a pill. <laughs> Whatever that means. I guess there's some pill that's all purple, and he said that I look like this pill. That's interesting. Now I'm curious to look up what pills are purple. I have no idea. Please. How was it working with him? Because I remember last year, I forgot who I was talking to, but someone mm. told me that he shot a like something like a seven or eight page oneer. Was there anything like that this time around? Oh, absolutely. Eric shoots oneers galore. Uh, I think that he, uh, having someone like Eric, has raised the bar uh, in regards to the quality of the show, and he's brought something different to the table. and. Um, and he obviously knows a thing or two about medical dramas and so I think he brings that knowledge to our show and, and he knows what works and what doesn't and so we're very uh, lucky to have him.